Essa primeira palestrante, que ela já está lá online. Ruth, seja bem-vinda. Se apresenta para a gente, por favor, e fala um pouco do seu trabalho. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm Ruth Abbey from Zero Waste USA, and I'm delighted to be here with you to talk about our programs and uh, really enjoy being with everyone here uh, at the International Conference. It's our most favorite thing to do, to be with each other. This picture is actually from 2013 in Berkeley, and uh, we just can't wait till we can all be together once again. Let's go to the next slide. A gente também. So Zero Waste USA is part of the Zero Waste International Alliance and Justice Principles. We have uh, worked together as an international community to develop uh, the zero waste hierarchy of highest and best use. And as you can see, the most important part of zero waste is to rethink and redesign before we reduce, reuse and recycle. So much of our time is spent uh, talking about uh, recycling and composting, which is very important, but in zero waste, we have to go up the hierarchy to uh, rethink, reduce, and reuse. Next slide. Uh, the Zero Waste USA uh, was formed back in 1996 as the Grassroots Recycling Network. And that's very important because uh, grassroots is where we are, with the community, with the stakeholders, with the people. And zero waste is all about involving the community. Uh, at that time, we campaigned for zero waste, promoted jobs from discards, and we worked to end corporate welfare for wasting, meaning no longer subsidizing the corporations for producing the trash that uh, we then have to recycle and compost. So it was all about corporate responsibility, green jobs, and zero waste. And GRN was um, formed in 1996. We joined the Zero Waste International Alliance in 2002. And then if you go to the next one, yes, the Zero Waste Brain Trust was a part of our project to uh, envision a world without waste in 2009. And that's when, if you go to the next slide, you can see that we also supported the Zero Waste uh, Business Council, the US Zero Waste Business Council. And that was an organization that we helped to form to help with certification and recognition. One of the things that Zero Waste International Alliance does is that the US, we formed a separate organization, US Zero Waste Business Council, which then became a part of the lead program through US Green Business Building Council and is now called True Zero Waste. You can go to the next slide. We decided to change our name uh, to Zero Waste USA in 2014. And that was because we were part of a, an international movement with Zero Waste Europe and Zero Waste Brazil and Zero Waste um, Philippines. We wanted to be a part of the international movement uh, and, and we rebranded to be Zero Waste USA. Uh, we are focused now on training, certification and advocacy. And we work with communities in the U.S. to help that we to um, help them to embrace them to embrace uh, and achieve zero waste. Next slide. Here are just a listing of a bunch of zero waste communities. There are about uh, 100 to 150 that we have uh, identified, and there are more uh, every day. So we'll talk a little bit about uh, zero waste training. And we, um, we offer a zero waste training program every year. And in the last two years, we have offered that online. So we have actually um, communed with people across the US and around the world in uh, zero waste associates training. And we have zero waste associates all over the world. So our program includes an introduction to zero waste, then zero waste principles and tools, and zero waste associates. We will be offering these programs online this year, and you can sign up through our website, zerowasteusa.org, training uh, uh, upcoming, 
and we will be um, offering a zero introduction to zero waste this fall in August, September, and October. And um, if you go to the next slide, we have a, a special um, invitation for zero waste, introduction to zero waste in Spanish, unfortunately not in Portuguese this time, but of course you can learn all about it. Um, you can learn all about that uh, through Zero Waste Brazil. But we will be offering uh, zero waste training in uh, Spanish uh, on uh, July 7th, uh, 2021, this next month. And we invite all y'all to uh, participate. Here's a sample of some of the principles and tools that we describe in our Zero Waste Associates class. This is the Zero Waste Planning Checklist, and it includes a long list of all the programs, policies, and infrastructure that can, communities can implement on the road to zero waste. So we use this when working with communities to see what you have and what you don't have. And what you don't have is what you put in your zero waste plan, and you plan to implement that. We can go to the next slide. Here's our divertibility analysis. This is really important for zero waste planners because we need to know what's still in the trash, what's still in the trash that needs to be reduced, reused or recycled or reinvented. So we use this tool to help identify what's left to look through all the garbage like. We also use a tool that we supported the development of for the US EPA. So the US EPA has a website called Managing and Transforming Waste Streams. And on that website, you can see the tool that we helped the US EPA develop. And it's a tool that identifies all of the different programs, over a hundred programs, policies and facility ideas that communities can implement. And then it includes a checklist and about 350 case studies so that you can see examples from other communities. And we really encourage um, communities to look at this checklist to see what they have and what they don't have so that uh, in the future you can implement these programs. Uh, this is our recognition form. So in the U.S., since we have a true zero waste um, and that organization which we help to form does a lot of the business certifications, Zero Waste USA really focuses on communities and institutions and recognition. And, uh, but we will also recognize um, businesses as well. So we do have a form online that businesses, institutions, or communities can fill out to get recognized as a, a leader in zero waste. These are based on the um, zero waste principles of the Zero Waste International Alliance. And speaking of compost, we have another campaign, which we started way back in the early part of the 21st century. It's called uh, Cool Now. And it was originally called Cool 2012, because at the time, in the early 2000s, we thought, oh, by, by 2012, we should be able to get all organics out of landfill. Cool stands for compostable organics out of landfills now, cool now. And uh, we did change the name because uh, when we got to 2012 and we hadn't achieved um, compostable organic California in the food scraps and organics go into the landfill, they create a biogas, which is primarily methane. And methane is a very powerful greenhouse gas. It is 25 to 72 times more powerful than carbon dioxide. We, we know that uh, global warming and climate change is one of the biggest threats that we have facing our, um, our communities and our wildlife and nature. So it's uh, this global threat really needs to be um, addressed through public policy and also individual action, action. So the Cool Now program attempts to help educate people about the importance of reducing um, organics, food scraps, and other materials that are compostable to landfill in order to reduce global emissions of methane. And here's my last slide. I just wanted to welcome you all to the international community of the Zero Waste International Alliance and to uh, celebrate uh, the work that we are all doing together to help communities, businesses, individuals, and institutions on the road to zero waste. I want to recognize our partners in, uh, in uh, zero waste and advocacy. And thank you so much for inviting me to speak and to be a part of your conference this week. Thank you so much. Muito obrigada, Ruth. Nós aqui te agradecemos. 
Moderador, você gostaria de comentar alguma coisa? Sim, por favor. Primeiro, sobre a apresentação do nosso vereador, né? mostrar como é importante o Legislativo ter uma postura propositiva e como isso realmente muda a realidade de uma cidade. Né? Todo o trabalho que ele vem fazendo, especialmente em relação à valorização da compostagem, se a gente retirar só a parte da, do resíduo orgânico do lixo, é aproximadamente 50% do, dos resíduos que a gente está enviando para o aterro. Né? Então o resto é muito mais fácil depois fazer um trabalho para destinar corretamente. Então, parabéns por todo esse trabalho que você vem fazendo. Parece até um prefeito falando, né? Quando ele, com todas essas ações que ele está desenvolvendo lá em Florianópolis e também em relação a Ruth Habe, um trabalho fantástico internacional do Zero Waste International Alliance, que ela participa, também com uma... para o aterro. Muito interessante. É isso mesmo. 